<gasps> Move. Move. Making his way to the ring first, the challenger, Hayden from Lewisham. Ladies and gentlemen, he is True Griggs Connor Mills. Welcoming you all to Reservoir TV, it's Ollie Peace. And Saul Tom on Saul Tom and Terry once again for the main event of the evening at the Rayleigh Mill. And what a main event we have. Introducing first the challenger, True Grit Corner Mills. This banging theme song. Mills! 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 Yeah, take it on him. Mills! Grit! Corner! Mills! 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 Something! Real what? Connor Mills, did it just say shit? I believe so. Real shit. Oh my god, can we say that? Well, I've just said it another two times, so we better be able to say that. Real shit. Yes, sir. Is that really what you want to brand yourself as? It's real shit. If, if you're hot shit, you're good. If it's the shit, it's good. Yeah, but if it's like real is. shit. Oh, that, you know. Real hot shit, <laughs> or real the shit, because shit is more often than not used as a pejorative. No, maybe you like good shit, man. That's some real shit. That's some like, real, you know what I mean? I see. I see. And introducing his opponent, the defending champion. I just like how um, Spymaster might have to bleep every time we say that word. Well, I don't know. It depends on YouTube's um, strictness. Um, I hear profanity on the radio now, pre-watershed, I'm sure I hear profanity. From East Anglia, ladies oh. and gentlemen, he is the Spring Hill. He is your reigning and defending undisputed WrestleForce champion, Jack. This is going to be a first time ever showing. Let you in a little secret. These two have met. Don't go looking for the footage. You won't find it anywhere. It was at the, at the at festival in St. Albans by UK Marquee Hire. Hell of a match it was, but officially the first time that it's going to be like uploaded, put anywhere. A first time meeting here. And it won't disappoint. We've got True Grit Connor Mills. He's held one half of those titles before the international championship, but he hasn't yet won these belts. Unified. But will he? Will, is it a sign, to things to, sign of things to come there? Or is that Connor Mills jumping the gun? Of course, uh, this was meant to be Levi Muir versus Jack Landers. That'd be another very, very highly anticipated one-on-one -on -one match. Hey, good things come to those who wait. Remember how long it took to eventually get Levi Muir versus James Farrell? Look at the series of matches they had. One day, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Levi Muir versus Jack Landers, and it will certainly be worth the wait. But I don't think anyone's going to complain about uh, this change of lineup. I don't think Conor Mills is going to well, it's Conor Mills who was not victorious against Lee Van Muir, lost to Lee Van Muir at the Drapers Academy in Harold Hill, but he was victorious at our last show in Dagenham against Jordan Saeed. So, you know, and with Lee Van Muir, uh, best wishes to Lee Van Muir, who's got a very bad fever and a broken toe, so we wish him all the best. Speedy recovery, because we certainly do want to see that match. Zach Landers, that looks like new gear. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Here we go, we've got two guys in their primes, two incredible athletes. And this could be a, as enthralling as the series of matches Jack Landers has had with Pharrell. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, and the, the, the one that Jack Landers is on uh, as of late since he's won those titles. He's been, been phenomenal. About his fourth defense, starting with a double knuckle lock tie up Mills quickly spinning out of it 
switching to a tie and angle hold. Tom, how many defences has it been? The last time I tried to recollect this on commentary, I got it kind of wrong. We've had Char Samuels. Yes. We've had Voodoo. Yes, indeed. Not in that order, but yes. No, no. yes. Maybe working backwards, right? That's good. Char Samuels, Voodoo. Uh, his last defence was Charles. Reselaxius. Reselaxius, indeed. And then prior to that, yeah, this is only his fourth defence. He won the belts off Karim prior to that. I believe we're accurate if we're not. Yeah, correct. it would have been Reselaxius. It would have been. Uh, so early days. Voodoo, but, yeah. And, only his fourth defence, but you know, three absolutely cracking title defences thus far. Will this be a fourth, or will we have True Grit, the real ship, Conor Mills, as our two-time, well, our kind of two-time international champion, first time, one time, undisputed first first champion. Even so far, no competitor with this significant period on top. Mills take a little break to stir, regain himself. It would face any other number of competitors being tackled like that, but you see the way Mills just went right to his feet. More annoyed than anything else. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. True grit indeed. Very tough, very tough. Yeah, he doesn't like when he could be outpowered, so he's just trying to rethink a game plan probably on the outside. Has a million things going through his head. And you can see what it, it will take to uh, work down Jack Ladders, and here we go. we will go behind. Wastelock. Jack Landers, more often than not these days, with the pump handle slam as a choice of finish. Of course, has the, uh, the Phoenix Splash in his repertoire, but it's not uh, common. It's there, it's uh, under exceptional circumstances. I dare say it will be exceptional circumstances tonight. I've seen Mills kick out of many, many maneuvers. He's very tough. That match, I've seen Jack Landers kick out of the minutes. Nice counter to an attempted counter from Connor Mills. So Tom, let's place bets. Who are you betting? Um, Jack Landers has been on a good run as of late, but I cannot ever bet against Connor Mills. I think Connor Mills beats over this one. Um, that's only because of you know, the talent that Mills is. I'm not saying Jack Landers isn't, but the experience that Mills has, you know, Jack Landers is only 20 years old. Mills is just about 25. I think he's got a couple of years of him at top level. A little concerned of Jack's hand. Yeah, he's got, um, Mills must know this, that Jack Landers has had surgery on the wrist. He's got very weak wrists. He said earlier that he's, uh, he's, his wrists are made of silly string. And I think he might have said that a little bit too loud because it seems like Mills picked up on that. Trying to work on those wrists. Great exchange there. That took a while for Jack Landers to make that side headlock stick. Because uh, each time the head scissors was applied, Jack rode straight through it. it great wrestling. Who have you got for this matchup, though? You oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I will bet on Jack Landers. He's just after watching his first three defences. Having said that, I'm a little concerned of his fingers. He managed to avoid the single. A fine job not getting caught in a predicament where his hand is in jeopardy. But after that gym break special, he was nursing that hand. Tackle again, taking Mills down. This time Mills doesn't powder out to the outside. He decides to try and sleep and trip. Oh, the big man, but look at that power slam. He's really rude now in the corner. That land is in control, but Mills gets the feet up. Oh, could this be? Yes, Jack Landers is setting up for oh his my. trademark net breaker. Oh my goodness. Very innovative and effective. And Jack Landers is, has the significant advantage. And he was now taking his time after that net breaker. Really nurse that neck. Trying to get some distance, taking a little breather there, a little sit down, but Jack's not letting him take taking any time taking it right to the challenger in the crowd roughly trying to get both these men back in the ring but taking it right to the challenger in the crowd so the challenger's in the crowd back suplex was i wrong what, 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 did i misspeak i think you meant the challenger in the crowd what did i say i thought that's what you i thought the challenger was coming from the crowd i was well confused <laughs> jack landers with a back suplex and connor mills on the apron's edge 
Oh! That's not what you want to be if you're against Jack Landers. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, Neil's nose. He can't let Jack Landers come off that rope to the outside. Of him. And that's not what you want to be with Connor Mills. Connor Mills, no. Oh gosh, he's kicked out Jack's. Oh my, the, the dragon screw! Oh no, Jack Landers. Back of the knee just went scraping across the metal turnbuckle hook. That's what Connor Mills did the dragon screw on Jordan Said in Dagnum. Yeah, it's a, a move that he's been adding to his repertoire as of late and it seems to always do the damage. If your base is taken out of you, you can't execute any of your power moves. Jordan Said was struggled, struggled big time to get Connor Mills on his shoulders. And ultimately, I believe that's what cost him the match. And uh, Jack Landers, using that pump handle slam, that's going to be a, a struggle to do if your knee's incapacitated. Yeah, and the wrist, as, as, as it was earlier. And look at that. Oh, it's the knee that's the main point of concern yeah, now. Yeah, it definitely is. I think that was an early game plan that Mills thought better of after he got his butt kicked. But it's the knee that, that Connor Mills is now zoning in on like a shark getting blood look at the concentration on Mills' face giving himself a pat on the back. back awfully arrogant and foolish I would uh, pat yourself on the back when your job's done and you're the undisputed champion Atomic drop to the knee. What do we call that so Shin often? Shinbreaker. Shinbreaker. They always say it. Oh, Atomic no. drop's the conventional one from behind. Manhattan drop is the one with your opponent facing you. What is the one on the knee? Well, it's a Shinbreaker. We can call it the Rayleigh drop. Where's uh, Mills from? We can call it the... <laughs> Lewisham drop. Lewisham drop. It, it's not a... It's a... Connor Mills it executes it as good as anyone else, but it's not one of his patented maneuvers. Inside cradle from Jack Landers. Connor Mills going straight back to the knee. Ah, oh, just buy it out of the front. I think Connor Mills is perfectly aware he cannot bite. I just don't think he cares. Cares enough to not get himself disqualified, but he's, he's pushing the rules just as much as he can. He knows the ref has got a bit of leniency in a title match, just to see. No one wants to see a match like this end of disqualification, but Mills needs to be careful. Nice European uppercut from Mills to Jack. Going back to the outside. I appreciate the lenient. He's biting him again. I think Connor Mills is biting Jack again. Come on, this is ridiculous. I appreciate. Carl Williams leniency but you know we're going out the ring we're biting it, enough is enough let's lay the law down as crap as it would be to throw the match out we might just need matches you know a few matches Jack Landers is fighting back with chops oh my god I think Mills just kicked Landers in the knee I heard it from here, I didn't see it from my vantage point. And this is what I mean, come on, how long has it been now on the outside? You know, if we just enforce the rules, a few matches might get thrown out, but at least it will set the example. Finally, now Mills returning. Jack Landers to the ring. And a drop kick right to the knee. And a double stomp to the chest. A figure four or an Indian death block. Jack's in a lot of trouble. That's locked on. He's in so much pain, he's laying flat on his back and the referee was 
on doing his uh, job there, right on point, seeing the shoulders were down, Jack Lund's the jump straight back up. But Jack Lund's doing the right thing now. Indeed, at least at that, at that vantage point, he was able to throw in some strikes and get out of that. That's just as well he did. Crowd now clapping, getting behind Jack Landers. Uppercut, forearm. Jack's on a roll. Watch for the knee, though. It's gone for it again. Oh, this time. Fantastic sunset flip counter to the shin breaker that oh, time. back on his feet now. Goes for the drop kick to the Fantastic. legs again. out the way of the Standing drop star kick. press, but Mills gets the knees up. Sending a switch. Oh! Ooh, that's an up hard bomb. What an adjustment in midair to make. Looked like Mills was going for like a shotgun drop kick of some sort, and then uh, Jack Landers just parted the legs and managed to catch him in a power bomb. Well, somewhat of a stalemate now, but don't forget Jack's knee. I have a feeling that as soon as they start trading, Mills is going to go target the knee once again. Let's see if I've called it. Oh, Jack on one oh. leg hobbling through. I'm mistaken. No trading to speak of. It's all Jack Landers. But Connor Mills ducking the kick. Going for the knee again. Jack so wise to it. Star press this time. No counter. Star press to the lower back of Mills. Oh, looking for that handspring stunner. Yes. Jack Landers feeding off the energy now of the Rayleigh really faithful clapping. Showing their support for Jack Landers. Jack Landers using that to drive him. What has he got left? Of course, we haven't seen the pump handle slam. We haven't seen the Phoenix splash. Crash landing. Oh. Rolls through though from Mills. Quick kick out, but oh. Watch out, Mills has rebounded. Oh, oh my goodness! That was one of the meatiest clotheslines I've seen. But look, Mills is not letting go, not relenting, not giving the Landers a second to breathe, and locking in an ankle lock on that injured leg. He's just stumping at both legs. Oh no! And maybe he thought he was targeting the wrong leg at that point, but. He's now targeting the right, the, the correct leg. Well, I, I get the strategy. Oh, boot did his face off. Yakuza boot in the corner. I get changing the strategy. Jack was going to reach the ropes in that ankle lock. Oh, my goodness. Such a fisherman buster. Oh, and Jack Land is still in this, though. Mills not happy that Jack Land has still got fight in him. Still has those WrestleFall championships to his name. Mills is now looking for a game plan to change that story. It's taking a lot of time to work it out. He's taking a risk tape off. I appreciate that, you know, the Indian death lock didn't work. I appreciate that the ankle lock didn't work. I appreciate that Jack kicked out of the Yakuza boot and that driver, but still. Mills is really, really deliberate. Wait a minute. No, not the chain. That's not allowed. Carl Will He's not even hiding it. He's turning slightly. Come on. Carl Williams sees it and is still letting it go. Come on. Yeah, we've got to... We've got to start some disqualifications. You know, it will suck at first, but once the first disqualification happens, at least it will set the precedent. Stop cheating. Stop choking. Back to the toe and ankle. Jack's, out. Jack's got his other foot free though. He's able to fight out and he does. Jack with two forearm smashes. Be careful because I think Mills is gonna retort and retort with something to the knee. 
I stand corrected. Maybe not. It's all Jack Landers just peppering Connor Mills with chops. Oh. Mills fighting oh back with my a God. stiff kicks. I hear them from here. Oh, oh. And a massive Inzaguri. Oh, Jack Landers fighting back. He's looking for that. No! That clothesline now countered by a stand and Spanish fly. Oh, Mills still kicks out though. Landers knew that was coming this time. After Mills rebounded out of those ropes, looking for another clothesline, but no. I say we call that a King's Lynn, a King's Lynn landing. I don't think we should call it that. None of this. I vote yes. Connor Mills, look at us, look at him, brother, look at him. Never mind us. I don't know if Connor Mills is fully with it. I'm trying to start a fight on you because you already beat it's not. He did get kicked in the head and both guys have battered each other. Black and blue. Jack's taking Mills to the top rope. Nice Enziguri, found them up perfectly. Could he do a superplex, I'm guessing? Maybe like a... You know, we, we know he likes the Falcon Arrow. He could be doing something like that from the top. Oh, you think the roll through into the Falcon Arrow? Look at that, Connor Mills. The thing is, Jack Landers put his knee right in a predicament with that. Oh, oh my no. God, Fisherman off the top row. Missed that, the manoeuvre he hit earlier, but this time looking for the Avalanche version. Oh, oh my goodness. That has to be it. We have a new champion here today. No. That was incredibly impressive. Mills was able to pull that off <laughs> off the middle row. Did he kick out of that? And How did Jack Landers kick out of that move? And that's very impressive too. Going back to the knee now. Oh, just wrenching at it. Stomp to the mat. Lock on a submission. Ankle lock, again, that Jack can crawl to the ropes, but his knee's just been stomped into the canvas. He's been pulled away. Oh! Out of the way of the kick this time. Oh my god, Poison Rana! That reverse Rana, Mills right on the top of his head. He does not know where he is now, and now Jack Lanner's looking go to the top rope. Power slam has to pull him through. Oh no, and it's going to roll him through again. This is the crash landing. Bang. Is that enough? Yes, it is. And finally it is as well. What a knockout Ladies dragout match. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still, the undisputed WrestleForce Champion, the Spring Heel, Jack London. We'll put it in the record book. Defense number four for Jack Landers. And what a defense that was. I, I bet on the wrong man today, and um, Jack Landers has proven me wrong because what a fantastic defense. I bet on the right man. Yeah, Thank you, you Jack. The next drink is on me. Tom, pay up. <laughs> But uh, mate, for, for the match that we saw here, no problem at all, I'll pay up. Absolutely no problem, but great shining from Connor Mills, putting that Avalanche Fisherman Buster maneuver out the top rope, or from the second rope. Uh, Jack Landers still managing to kick out and having a wearable fire up, getting the crowd behind him, hit the power slam off the top and then pulled him through for the, uh, the pump handle, the Kingsling landing. But you Indeed. know, still your WrestleForce champion. Mr. Jack Landers. Yes, fair play. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on WrestleBoss TV. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for your winner. And still, the undisputed WrestleForce champion, Jack Landers.
So we hope to see you there. If you have bought a meet and greet poster, the rest of us will be available just around the corner to sign your meet and greet posters and take some photographs. We thank you all so much for coming. If you have to dash off home, have a safe journey back, but above all else, be nice to each other. Good night, God bless. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Keep the sky on your mind.